Today I'm going to show you um, a quick example of this contour line drawing self-portrait project that I love to do with my students. This is a great project as it's very beginner friendly. Um, it also lets students feel a little bit more confident about creating a self-portrait without having to have a whole lot of drawing abilities. So the first step that you're going to do is that you print out the picture of yourself or your student, whoever you want to do. You can do a celebrity, whoever. And then you're going to add graphite to the back of it by using a graphite stick. Okay, and we're going to fill up the back of the page. And then what we're going to do is lay this down on top of our good drawing paper. And then we are drawing the contour lines. Now it's important to remember that the contour lines are the lines that create an object. So it's kind of like thinking about the outline of a shape. So here on my neck, I'm going to draw the outline shape of my neck. Okay, same thing with my eye. This is my eyelid, but I'm not drawing hair strokes or anything like that. I'm just drawing the lines that make up the actual shape of our face. So then once you draw on this completely after you do all your contour lines, the graphite will then transfer your image to your paper. Okay. Okay. So then once you have the outline drawing and the graphite has been transferred, you can go on top of this with a pen just to kind of help you see those lines a little bit better. And we're not worried so much about the color or anything like that because it will be all covered up with paper. And then after you get that completely drawn, and we're kind of doing this in some quicker steps for sake of time, you're going to lay a transparency, just a clear film on top of it. And then I'm going to take a sharpie pen, sharpie marker, and then what I'm going to do is kind of redraw those shapes that I see underneath. Okay, so whatever the drawing of the face is underneath, I'm going to draw again on top of it with the clear transparency. Okay, then after you do that, you're going to use a variety of different pieces of paper that we've painted. We have lots of skin tones, we have hair tones, and then we also have these really fun um, pieces of paper that we just use kind of scrap paint that we combined like colors together with lots of textures and patterns and that'll add a lot of diversity and variances in your colors and your shapes and your patterns and then what you're going to do so I'm looking at my skin tone and you can cut or tear these it doesn't matter how you do it but you're going to overlap these pieces of paper to fill up your skin now if you look at my finished copy here you can see that I made sure to add some darkness around my chin so that my chin is a little bit forward and then also with my hair I have variation in colors because our hair are not our hair is not a solid brown I put pink into my cheeks so that they look lively and bright and then once that's completely filled up it doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now you can't see all those beautiful lines that exist in your face but once you add your transparency back on top of it this transparency will let you see the colors of the collage paper underneath and then the line work that you did, the contour line drawing on top of it will kind of help you kind of frame it out and put definition into your face. It's a wonderful project. Students really love this project because they feel like they can, they feel really proud when they can see that the picture looks like them, but also it doesn't take a whole lot of drawing skills, but it does focus on being able to see shapes and colors and values within your portrait and then conveying that with just using a contour line. Alright, so we're going to start with a white base so that we can mix all of our colors into it. So your skin has lots of warm colors in it, so I'm starting with brown, then a golden yellow, and then a little bit of red. So we're going to take our white mix it aside. So just a little bit of brown to start. <laughs> we'll take a little bit more. A little bit more brown. We feel like that's a little too cold tone still. I think we need to be a little bit warmer. A little bit more yellow. What do you think? Probably more yellow. A little bit more yellow. I'm going to let you do this part. So, do you think it needs a little bit more yellow or maybe some red? Mm, red. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So, let's see how it looks when you put the clear thing on top. There you go. Now your face is coming together. It looks awesome.